This problem may or may not come from the 2024 TMUA, and I've said that a lot with a lot of these problems. And I know that this week, a lot of you are preparing for the TMUA uh, the exam, for those of you sitting it in January. And as someone who's done many exams before, both math exams and non-math exams, I know that in the week running up to the exam, you're frantically looking for help. You're frantically looking for support. You're frantically looking for guidance. So uh, looking at YouTube videos, uh, reading textbooks, looking at problems. And I'm happy to share problems. But one thing I really want to give as a bit of advice is don't fall into the trap of thinking because Bob has seen a problem and I haven't seen that problem, I'm less likely to do well in the TMUA because this is a really bad mental trap to fall into. It's the same with people who are trying to get in better shape for like, as a New Year's resolution. They think, oh, if I have a slice of cake, I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to ruin my whole diet, right? It's not, it's not too bad, right? Having one slice of cake, as long as you still, you know, show up to the gym, still do the exercise and stuff, it's not the end of the world, right? Same thing with, with the team. So I'm still going to release a bunch of problems, but if you are in this week, just a bit of support, a bit of guidance, is just don't, don't stress too much, right? At the end of the day, in this week, there's only so much math that you can learn and there's only so many tricks that you can, you can take on. But anyway, let me show you this problem. We call a polygon P loud if for each interior angle A of P, there exists another interior angle B of P such that B is A over 2 or B equals 2A. If a polygon is not loud, it is quiet. The following are interior angles for three different polygons. Which of these polygons are quiet? And so you've got polygon 1, which has angles 30, 60, 90, polygon 2, 40, 80, 80, 160, and polygon 3, 60, 120, 120, 120, 120. Okay, so this problem is interesting for a few different reasons. Firstly, we've got loud and quiet, and that could con confuse lots of people. But essentially what this question is saying, which of these polygons are quiet? And thankfully, a polygon can either be loud or quiet. It's one or the other. It's kind of like yes or no. It's binary. And so essentially, we could just forget the word quiet and just say, which of these polygons are not loud? And essentially, in order to assess, like, for example, option one, option one, this polygon is either loud or it's not loud. And so all I need to do is assess it for the condition of being loud. If it matches that condition, great, it's loud. If it doesn't match that condition, it's not loud. Cool. So we don't need to confuse ourselves too much with the word quiet here. That's one thing. And the other thing is, well, we've got a pretty, I say, easy definition. Maybe it's not so easy if you're not familiar with there exists and for all and quantifiers like that. But essentially, we've got a definition which we can just check one by one uh, against each of these three polygons. And that's exactly how I'm going to solve this. So we call a polygon P loud if for each of its interior, each interior angle A of P, there exists another interior angle B of P such that B is a half A or B equals two times A. And so essentially we're saying that every angle in our polygon is either half or double some other angle or double or half some other angle. And so we can just test that with polygon this one here. Is 30 half or double any of the other angles? Well, yes, it's a half of 60. Great. What about 60? Is it a half or double any of the other angles? Well, yes, it's double 30, and that's fine. What about 90? Well, 90 is not a half of 60 or a half of 30, nor is it double 30, nor double 60. And so this guy here is not loud, so I'll call it quiet. Cool. I'm going to do the same with the second one. I think actually one thing I should also do here is actually check that these three are actually polygons. I mean, it does say that these are polygons, but maybe just to be safe that they're not trying to catch us out because we know the TMUA, there's sometimes a trick up their sleeves. So 30, 60, 90, that's a nice uh, triangle that angles add up to 180. 40 plus 80 plus 80 plus 160, that's 300 and, ooh, 40 plus 80 is, yeah, that's 360. <laughs> I couldn't do some addition in my head. So that's a quadrilateral. 60 plus 480 is 540, so that's a pentagon. That all checks out. So there's nothing silly going on with the angles there. Okay, 40, 80, 80, 160. This is clearly loud because 40 is a half of 80. Great. 80 is double 40. Great. And same with this 80. And 160 is double 80. Perfect. So this is loud. And similarly for this last uh, pentagon, this is also loud. 60 is a half of 120. And all these 120s are double the 60. And that's it. So the answer for this question would be which of these are, uh, polygons are quiet? It'd be one only. It's as simple as that. So with these types of questions, don't confuse yourself where, with the words loud and quiet or like whatever they call them, right? If you're asking which of these is loud, if, if a, in this case, polygon can either be loud or quiet and the question is asking you which of these are quiet, if the w definition for quiet is a bit confusing, just focus on which ones are loud and then you know, if it's loud, then it's not quiet. 
If it's not loud, then it must be quiet. So they do this a couple, I've seen a few different TMEO problems where they do this. So if that is a bit confusing, just break it down and go, okay, cool. I want to know which ones are quiet. Well, let's ask which of these are loud. And that's an equally difficult problem. And uh, yeah, that's a nice bit of advice. I'll be releasing some more solutions in the coming days. So if you are new to the channel, do subscribe, do like, do follow. If you do that, my videos will get pushed to the top of your algorithm and also hit the notification thingy. So uh, when I upload, you get notified, all that sort of YouTube-y stuff. Uh, but yeah, if you do genuinely want to see these videos and make sure you don't miss them, do do those things.